everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Backer Design. I've got a really cute card for you today that features the Love For You bundle. This bundle's got some great word dies as well as large word stamps. I used the So Much Love here in the front and then inside I stamped Happy Anniversary. You've got, um, you know, different set, you know, inside stamps, if you will, that you can stamp to go along with both of these words. All right, well, let's get started. I'm also using the Favored Flowers um, Designer Series paper. This is a free celebration paper during January and February 2023. So if you like it, make sure you get it before it's gone. It's free with a $50 purchase. All right, I'm using my Stamparatus. I like to use my Stamparatus on large stamps. It just makes things easier, I think, so I can get a good stamp all the way around. Um, use your magnets to hold down your basic white paper. You'll notice that my photopolymer stamp has turned this funky bright pink color. This is how they look originally. Depending on what ink you use, uh, your stamps may get stained. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't affect the stamp quality at all. All right, I'm going to stamp this with... Um, Blackberry Bliss. Actually, no, this is Rich Razzleberry. Rich Razzleberry. All right, now I'm going to stamp it once, and then I'm going to open it up and stamp it again. Now, I want to make sure that my paper doesn't pull off. I didn't get my second magnet out, so I'm just going to hold that in place. See right there how that didn't stamp very well? So I can lay that back down. That magnet may be in the, be there, be too close to it. So I'm going to slide that over. All right, so one thing I really like about Stamparatus is that I can, I can stamp several layers. So if the first time I feel like it's not dark enough, I can stamp it again. Photopolymer stamps are sticky, so sometimes they'll stick to your paper. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, now, while I have this here, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my flowers. These are two-step stamps, which means they have two different images for one um, you know, for so each flower has two stamps. You can use your Stamparatus to line those up as well, but these are pretty easy because they're photopolymer. I feel like I don't need to use my Stamparatus. Um, I can see right through them, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stamp the inside image first, and I'm gonna stamp it in Rich Razzleberry right there. Now, I'm gonna get the outside image, if you will, and I'm gonna stamp it in Rich Razzleberry, but I'm gonna stamp off on my grid paper first. And then I can just easily line it up. Look at those dots in the middle. That will help you line it up right there. See how easy that is? All right, now let's do the smaller one. So we'll stamp that in Rich Razzleberry and get the smaller solid image, I guess is what you would call this stamp off on your grid paper, and then stamp that right on top as well. All right, now lastly, we're gonna do two sets of leaves. So I am using Garden Green, and I'm gonna uh, stamp that inside image twice, and then we'll do the solid image, stamp off so you get a different color really a lighter ink color and stamp that right there okay now we're going to move all this away get our die cut machine that is called a cut and emboss machine bring that over here we're going to cut these out now this these words have a little cloud die cut if you will that goes behind it so i'm going to use that as well that's this one we're going to use that on crumb cake all right, now I think that I could get these all through here at one time, but I wanna make sure that these don't slip at all. So I'm gonna do the words first, and then I'll do the flowers and leaves. So when it cuts it apart, you actually have three different separate words. Isn't that awesome? So much better than trying to fussy cut those with your scissors. All right, so now for the flowers, we'll do the same thing. Cut those out. 
They all line up beautifully. We'll have to run our um, leaves twice since we only have one leaf die. Lay that down carefully so that we don't move our dies. And one more time to get that last leaf. I love the colors in this favored flower um, pack of designer series paper, rich razzleberry and blackberry bliss with a, with a really rich green. Um, but there's also other prints in the paper pack that aren't purple. They are more of a coral color with our Calypso coral. And it is beautiful, just as beautiful. And you could make this card with those colors as well to use a different pattern of paper. I knew I was gonna forget to do that. <laughs> That's why I said it there and I still forgot. Piece of crumb cake, the cloud. I know it kind of looks like a blob, doesn't it? It'll make sense in a minute. There we go. All right, now we can send this guy away, bring back all of these, and I'm gonna use mini dimensionals to adhere these words onto my piece. Now, when I did this the first time, I had a hard time figuring out where the letters go, but the M goes across here. So I, I felt like the piece needed to go like that, but really it goes kind of up like that. So take your many, I guess I could use a regular dimensional right here. And then we'll use our many dimensionals over here like that. And then you just want to set that down right there in the little shadow. All right. And we'll do love next. Love can use the big dimensionals as well. In fact, I think we just need one. Like that and do you think we can get a big dimensional on here I think we can hallelujah I love big dimensionals better I like small dimensionals I just they're for me <laughs> my fingers don't work as well with the smaller ones okay so there we've got that we've got our leaves and we're not gonna we're not gonna do anything to those yet let's put those over there Let's start with our card base. Um, this is a Blackberry Bliss card base. It's a half sheet of cardstock cut in half at five and a half, and then scored at four and a fourth. I've got a piece of designer series paper, the favorite flowers. Look how beautiful that other side is too. And it's four by five and a fourth. Now there will be a free PDF on my blog, so please click that, go over there, and check out the other two projects that I have featuring this beautiful paper. Now, I have taken a piece of um, fresh freesia, and it's a quarter sheet of cardstock, and I embossed it with a hive embossing folder. And we're gonna just adhere it like this. You can see how it goes across. And you have to, when you lay it on here, you've gotta make sure that this corner isn't up like that. You don't want that to show. So you've gotta get it on there so that this corner and that corner are covered. So I think I'm just gonna start by putting some adhesive here. And then I'm gonna take my paper with the long side and just fit that right across. All right, so now that looks kind of weird and it's not gonna fit in an envelope. So grab your trimmer and we're gonna line that up right there with the edge of the card. All right. Now don't throw these pieces away. We're going to use them. We're going to use one of them to punch a heart. Okay. I don't want to cut my card base. There we go. Well, I might have shaved just a tad bit off my card base, but that's okay. Make sure that you've got that lined up in that gutter. You can also use your scissors to do this if you trust your cutting. Now I'm gonna put a piece of ribbon across here. Let's see, did I get enough of that? Yep. Um, I am using ribbon that is on back order right now for several months, but there are lots of ribbons that you could use here. I'm just sticking with my original design and the ribbon will be back in stock in late February, I believe. All right. So tear and tape across the edge. 
I'm going to use my take your pick tool and we'll just fold those ends in and then take your ribbon and set it across like that. Now get some good scissors. I don't know. These aren't my good ones. Let's see how they do. And cut your ribbon to match the edge right there. There we go. All right, we're almost done. Let's bring in our So Much Love. We're gonna put that on, straddling that ribbon right there with dimensionals. And now we're gonna take our flowers and let's see if I've got some liquid glue. Actually, you know what? I use dimensionals on those, I can tell. So I'm gonna put a dimensional on that flower and then I'm just gonna tuck it in right here. And then I'm gonna take this one, dimensional also, and tuck that in right there. Now for the leaves, I am gonna use glue, just a little dot. And you can put that right there. You don't want it to hang off the edge of the card, so you might have to wiggle it around. And we'll put this one down here. All right, now let's fill in those little circles in the middle of our in the middle of our flowers. I've got some pastel pearls here, fresh freezy, I believe, and fill those in. Now, Blackberry Bliss is the color of our card base, and it's very dark, so it's going to be hard to write a message on that um, or even stamp the, the happy anniversary. So I've got a quarter piece of basic white that I'm going to put in here like that. I have cut a one-inch strip of our designer series paper, and I'll put that right there. Now, remember, I said hold on to that scrap. Get a heart punch. This is our country bouquet. That's probably not the name, but it is also on back order. But you can use any heart that you have. I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'm gonna stamp happy anniversary right down here. And there you have it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Please click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog, check out that free PDF and the other two projects I have featuring the favored flowers designer series paper. Thanks, bye-bye.